Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this series that I'm putting together, we started off at Olympus on Mars. We took off, we came over here to Phobos, which is where we're at now. We landed at night, so it's now daytime on Phobos. So we've been here for a few hours, which is uh, plenty of time to have, you know, done our crew exchange and, uh, you know, unloaded a few supplies and maybe picked up some trash or something like that. So now we're going to uh, continue on with our mission. We're going to go from uh, Phobos over to Deimos. So let me go ahead and switch camera views here and let's jump into it. Now again by default in Orbiter 2016 there's no base on Phobos so I want to thanks, uh, give a thanks to Dimitri for taking the Aurora base and doing a conversion to uh, make it work here for Phobos. I like having a target to go to, so I've taken this base that uh, Dimitri, Dimitri converted and I just copy pasted it over to uh, Deimos and I tried to find a nice location on Deimos to have it. Now one thing I didn't do though is you'll notice how the, the dirt and the blast sites where the, you know, where the landing pads are at, they pretty well match the, the, um, you know, the, the natural color of Phobos. Um, I didn't take the time to do that color blending, so when we get over to Phobos, you'll notice that the the dirt is going to look exactly the same. You know, it's going to have that sort of brown, tan, brown color, but the color of Deimos is kind of a bit more of a pinkish hue, so there's a bit of a mismatch there, but I still think it looks pretty good. But uh, at some point in the future, hopefully I'll take the time to do the kind of color blending that's been done here. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now I did want to try to set this up so that I could land on Deimos during the day and honestly I ended up recording like five or six videos and I, I got frustrated with it and um, so we're just going to arrive whenever we arrive because the, the problem I keep running into is the that if, if my math is correct and I think it is that there just every time we were able to leave Phobos to make that journey over to Deimos again trying to be you know fuel efficient about it I mean if we just wanted to leave at any arbitrary time and use a ton of fuel then yeah we could we could work it out so that we arrive during the day over the base but you know I'm trying to do those nice Haman transfers for fuel efficiency and just literally every time I we got a chance to leave Phobos to go to Deimos it worked out so that we were always arriving at the base uh, we would always be arriving at the base either right at sunset or an hour or two after sunset. And I went through forward and I checked, you know, encounter after encounter after encounter and it just kept happening. So I'm, I'm sure that after enough orbits it would work out, but I'm like, I give up. We're just going to make the flight. <laughs> so with all that said, let's go ahead and I'm going to do what we did before for setting up the plan initially. I'm going to use TransX because it's it's just much faster than uh, IMFD. So I'm going to select Deimos. I'm going to change my graph projection to focus. I'm going to change over to uh, maneuver, turn maneuver mode on. We're going to add in some prograde to get us out to the orbit of Deimos. And it's a bit much, back off somewhere about in that range and now I just want to work with our date variable to try to arrive at uh, to try to make the trip from Phobos to Deimos so that we arrive at one of these lines so let's go down to let's go down to an ultra setting and we're just gonna bring that time forward until the closest approach comes down and it looks like you know we're going to have a we're going to have an approach here really soon. So, so we won't have to stay here on Phobos too terribly long. Not that we're in a hurry to get out of here or anything, but uh, okay. So now we're just going to adjust uh, date and prograde until we can bring our closest approach down. And like before, we'll then bring that plan over to IMFD to do some additional refinement. Okay, so we need to take out some prograde. And let's go with that. Now let's go with our date. And going the wrong way, so let's back up on the date. And we'll go with that for now and then back over to prograde. And it looks like take out some prograde. 
and we'll leave that there for now. Now let's look at our date. And okay, so somewhere we're getting pretty close here. I don't remember if I needed any outward on this one or not, or if I can do it all. It looks like I'm going to be able to do it all with just date and prograde. So let's keep that there for now, and let's look at our date variable. And 20, 1, 20, something like that. <clears throat> Maybe go down to an ultra setting on our prograde. And yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be uh, that's going to be demos. You know, again, we're we're not going for the space station, so we're not trying to get, you know, 500 meters or less or anything like that. We're going for this massive chunk of rock. So I feel like anything under 10 kilometers, then we're basically there. Okay, so we're going to fly this plan, but let's take a quick look at our at our vessel. So we have uh, 13 days and 17 hours of locks left, so it only took us a few hours to go from Olympus over to here. And we've been on external cooling in the few hours that we have been here. And yeah, we're not going to need to replenish any of our fuel here. In fact, uh, we could even probably uh, dump some of our fuel. And, you know, if we had a mechanism for doing that, we could we could dump some of our fuel and leave it here at Fogo Space. But uh, we'll just go ahead and carry what we have. Um, let's speaking of that, though, let's see what that equates to in terms of delta v. So add in the RCS, and yeah, we have over 8,100 meters per second, so we have plenty of fuel to make this journey, because it looks like we're only going to need about 1,000, roughly. You know, by the time you add that and that together, plus some mid-course corrections, plus landing, about 1,000 delta V, probably, so we have more than enough. Okay, so now, uh, when is this plan? Let's uh, view over to target, so it's about, uh, about you know, 11,000 seconds from now. So um, let's actually, let's get closer to this time. And since we know that once we lift up off of Phobos and start translating away, this whole plan's going to, you know, be affected by that maneuver. So before we import that into, <clears throat> into Interplanetary MFD, let's just get closer to the time to take off. Just warping time forward at 1,000. Go to about like 5,000 seconds maybe, maybe something like that. So somewhere around here. And now I just want to go back over to the maneuver mode for a moment. And I want to do an update. And you know, see things change pretty quickly with these uh, relatively small, um, you know, targets. Uh, it's much bigger than a space station, but you know, much smaller than like the moon. So let's just do a quick little bit of, uh, of an adjustment here while we're still sitting on Phobos, and then we're going to lift up, get away from Phobos a little bit, and then we'll transfer, you know, this plan over to to IMFD. So let's just work with our date a little bit. So it looks like we need to go backwards a little bit. Maybe about here. Go down to that micro setting. And working with our prograde, let's go down to a ultra setting. Looks like we need to add in a little bit of prograde. And yeah, we're pretty much dialed in again. All right, so let's go ahead and do this plan. All right, let's uh, come down here, turn off external cooling. Using onboard O2. So now we're breathing our own air. Um, it's not what I meant to do. I wanted to turn this on. Okay, so radiator is extended, landing gears down, of course. We don't really need to open the hover engine, hover doors. And let's go ahead and turn on the APU. And we're already in linear, so uh, we can pretty much just use linear to lift up. Uh, there's, you know, such low gravity here that we don't need the power of the hover engines. All right, so let's get going. Wheels up. So there we have wheels up, and we're moving at almost a meter a second already. Yeah. Go ahead and raise up. the landing gear. And we just want to make sure we get some separation between and between Phobos and our vessel. Let's look at our camera as we lift up and go away. So that's going to be our down cam. Uh, it's called XR Dummy in the XR2 because there's already an existent 
there's an attachment point that already exists which is equivalent to the down cam so if I create a down cam like I had on the Delta glider then I have two cameras that are located at exactly the same place go ahead and turn off the APU now and just put in some more translation just to get up and away we can see the base below us in our down cam all right let's see where's prograde at so rotation let's go ahead and rotate towards prograde <clears throat> And we'll just put in a little bit of movement in this direction because we know we're going to be burning prograde when we do this maneuver. So if we translate a little bit in this direction, translation, then that'll give us uh, you know some additional separation. In fact, I'm just going to give it a rotation. One small burst of main engine, just one really small burst. Right. Like that. I think that will be pretty sufficient to get us uh, well away from Phobos. Let's go ahead and take a look at our cameras here. So that's tail up. So that's not too useful. Tail back. So that's straight backwards from the tail. A little bit of time work to speed up that. Uh... Yeah, just making sure that we're definitely leaving uh, Phobos in the rear view mirror. Okay, so now our plan here has been affected because, you know, we have uh, put in some translation and some main engine. So I'm going to need to go to our update variable, update, and you'll probably see a pretty big jump here. Yep, we went from 2 kilometers to 540. So pretty delicate maneuvers here. So I can t I'm can, i sure we need to take out a little bit of prograde now because uh, we did a little bit of main engine there. Let's go ahead and take out some of that prograde. I'm surprised it's that much. So about right there, and now probably we need to work with our timing again. So yeah, that's having a pretty big effect. And we're almost there, so now we just need to figure out the difference in prograde. About right there, now update. And I'm going to go all the way down to the micro setting on this one. And we'll go with that. We're not going to be using Transax for this anyway, so uh, we just wanted to use it to get us in the ballpark because I find that it's faster, but then we'll use interplanetary MFD to actually refine what we have here. Okay, so we can see out of our rear view mirror uh, the Pho you know, Phobos and the Aurora base, and we're pulling away at you know, 18 meters a second, so we should be uh, well clear of Phobos by the time we do the maneuver. I'm going to bring up interplanetary, go to um, uh, hit this one, make sure that nodal aggression is off because I don't have non-spherical gravity sources enabled yet. Go to the course program, we want target intercept set, and we're going to target Deimos this time. And now, rather than trying to, you know, lock, unlock, plus, minus, lock, unlock, we already know roughly what the dates are, so we're going to use those. So using the MJD for the, uh, for the eject, which is the maneuver date, I'm going to do set, 6-1, Six four two three three four six, and then we want the maneuver. Uh, we want the MJD for the encounter, which is going to be six one six four two six eight seven two. Okay, and that's got us. You know, that gets us really uh, close to what we're actually going to fly without, you know, doing all the lock unlock and all that back and forth. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's go to a 10 setting and just adjust our TIN and TEJ, see if we can dial down the total cost. So that's not helping, that's not helping. 
So let's go to the TEJ. Um, okay, so it's not we're, not, we're not seeing huge improvements here, so I think that the plan that we found in Transex is pretty good as it is. So let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, nothing is really improving, so... Yeah, I'm not seeing any improvement at all. So we're just going to fly what we have right here. So we're going to have a, a DV of 400 when we leave and an encounter velocity of about 335. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, go over to the burn vector. And this maneuver is not for about, about 6,000 seconds. So let's go ahead and auto burn. Switch over to orbit, although it doesn't really matter because this is going to be tracking Mars and we'll work time forward until we do the burn and we can go to a thousand nice thing about IMFD it'll back off when we get closer in fact since that was quite a while of a of a time warp so now that we're this close out I'm actually gonna switch back over to this page for a moment at real time and just see if we need to do any additional see if we can do any additional refinements now so we're at 737 it's not helping, it's not helping. And let me go down to one on this one because we're only 300 out. And that didn't help. All right, and yeah, nothing, nothing is improving. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and fly this plan just like this. So back to the burn vector, back into time warp. And IMFD will orient the vessel T minus 180. <clears throat> and then it'll burn the maneuver at you know T minus zero. So just about 18 seconds left to go here of real time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and here comes the burn. And it takes us back to real time as it gets down to the bottom of the burn. And now in Transact, since we still have this up, we can turn off the maneuver. And it looks like, you know, we're going to be about one kilometer according to Transact. All right, so that's the maneuver complete. Let's go ahead and look at our camera view, see what Phobos looks like in our rear view mirror at this point. I don't see Phobos anymore, so it's off in some other direction. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't see it anymore. But that's going to wrap it up for this part of the video, so let me go ahead and switch camera views here. And let me do a, a save, control S, save. And when we come back in the next part, we will complete <clears throat> the journey over to uh, over to Deimos. I don't know if we'll land in the next video, but we'll, it will at least get all the way over there. So if you like this part, Hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.